In this video, we're going to learn how to use RenWeb 1 to provide report card comments and also grades for the students in the elementary division. To start, you're going to log in on your RenWeb 1 portal using any browser, um, but specifically, I would suggest to use Google Chrome. And then you're going to go to the main menu from this side here, click on Classroom to start. Once you're in the classroom uh, view, you will see that it defaults to date. You want to change that to the term and choose the correct term that you're grading. Um, on the bottom here, you will see that you will have your homeroom class if you're a, a homeroom teacher and also your other subject areas. Let's start with the homeroom class first. You will go to the homeroom class and tap on it. And then what you see here is the attendance for the homeroom. And the reason why it is defaulted to attendance is because this is what is selected on the side, on the right side. So just um, be aware of that. Um, what you want to do to, for a report card is to click on report card in the menu here. And that will pull up the report card for the homeroom class and all the options that you have to provide report card comments and grades for the homeroom class. So right here, you will see grades, and this is not what we're using in the elementary to provide grades. Instead, we are grading by skills. So we will uh, go to the skill by student or by skill by subject. Um, it is easier to, to grade by subject. So I'm going to click on skill by subject, and it will provide me all terms, T1, T2, T3. I can always go to just the term that I'm grading, and with that term, I get the option to choose the skills that I want to grade from this drop down. So I'm going to click on any of those skills and I want to provide grades for those students for that skill. Um, the easiest way to start is to do to use the fill option and that will provide the same grade for all the students for that skill and then uh, provide you an easy way to go back to those students that have a different grade to change it. So let's try it together. I'm going to click on fill and it will tell me the term is term one. I'm going to give three to everyone in this class for that skill. Um, if you had anything in, in um, before and you wanna replace it, you will click on this replace here, but I don't have anything there. I'm going to click on apply and what happened here is that all of the students now got a three for that skill that I chose. And I can always go back and change the grade for those other students that didn't get a three for that skill. Um, and once I'm done, I'm going to click on the save button to save that in my RenWeb class. Now, I'm going to clear it for just now because this was just a demo. And I'm going to go to the comment section. So you don't only want to provide grades for the report cards, you also want to give comments. So I'm going to click on comments and discard this. And here under the comment section, you also have the three options to uh, go through the different terms. Um, you are on term one. This is where you would put the class comment. So if you had it saved somewhere or on, on another document, you can just copy and paste it right here. If you want to provide individual comments, you are going to click on this comment box right here and paste the comment for that student in this box. And once you're done, you're going to click on the save button. So please do not forget to save it. And you will repeat the same process for the uh, other subject areas, um, depending on what your grade level um, is doing. And um, if you want, if you have any questions about specifics of where to put comments, um, if it's only in homeroom or also in the subject areas, please uh, refer to your grade level and team and team lead as well. Now, another question that I'm getting about report cards on RenWeb is, is there a way for, for us to see what parents see um, as report cards? Yes, there is a way. So how do we do that? You're going to also go on your RenWeb main view and you're going to click on this main menu Instead of going to classroom, you're going to click on report manager. And in here, you are going to click on student. There are some reports, report templates that are created by uh, the IT office. And one of them is the RCK 2013 uh, current with a star. 
If you click on that or just tap on it and select it, you will see it will pull up the different options on the bottom here for you. It's already uh, on enrolled, so it's only pulling up to enrolled students, which is what you want. Um, you can either choose to view that report card for a specific student or for all of them. If you want only a specific student, you will tap on the specific student and click on this one uh, arrow button um, and then move that student to the next box. If you want it for all of them, you will just cho choose the two arrows to pull them all to the next box and then you will click on the view report. And this will pull up the view report view for you and this is really what the parents will be receiving once the report cards are out and um, it will tell them the student's name, the grade level, it will give them the term one and their grades and um, for all the skills that you have graded and it would also have the comment section on the bottom here for, for them to view and also the attendance. If you have any questions about this template or um, what what it's showing and how it's showing, please ask the IT department as they are the ones who have created this template. This was it for today. If you have any other questions about this, please reach out to me um, and also to the IT office. And um, I hope this was helpful.